Assalamu alaikum dear viewers. I'm engineer Saifullah with a new look and with a new video and you are watching Saifal Engineer at Site YouTube channel. So today our uh, topic is for special for fresh engineers who want to join the construction industry but they don't know which type of uh, field or which field they have to join. There mostly we have to be quality department and uh, execution department also KVS planning but the two period which we can go easily so if you are going to join the execution team so the probably maybe you can go as a civil supervisor or civil site engineer and a quality period you can go only as a civil uh, inspector or quality inspector or electrical inspector mechanical inspector depend on your uh, field of study so today we will discuss some responsibilities and the start of our execution field or quality field so first I will start uh, about the quality field as a QC inspector what will be your responsibilities the two main responsibilities for a QC inspector or civil inspector is work inspection and material inspection and third some documentation because for the uh, mostly the QA, QC engineer or quality control engineer which is a senior person is responsible for the documentation but sometime several ins uh, inspector or quality inspector also have to do some documentation first we will go for the material inspection for the material inspection which kind of knowledge or which kind of thing you need to study or focus the first thing for a material inspection you have to know you have to full information about the material for which you are going to do inspection and the main and the second thing you should know how to do the inspection which kind of uh, documents required for inspection so as i uh, uploaded a uh, material inspection and work inspections video in our uh, channel but here i will give a short brief about this for a material inspection you need delivery note of the material from approved supplier or company one thing the second thing the technical pay, technical submittal phase for the material inspection and also the material approval request mar you need to know these things and the technical data sheet of the material so when you go for inspection inspection you have to cross check the material compliance sheet with technical data sheet and with the delivery note if all things are the same so it means the inspection is uh, accepted if there are any comments so the uh, consultant will put their his comments and you have to comply with that comment now come the second thing work inspection how you will uh, do the work inspection like for example you have a uh, some column state inspection so what are the main things and how to do the inspection first you have to know all the technical uh, knowledge about the steel its execution and its uh, drawings everything you have to take the drawings for the free inspection you have to go to the site and check all the steel uh, that it's as per approved shop drawing or not if there is any changes then you have to call the site engineer or site execution team to rectify the comments and you have to check the steel it's a uh, steel uh, cover concrete cover uh, spacers are provided not provided spaces between uh, tie bar or stirrups and which die up bar are using there and the steel are is approved or not approved and the coordinates for the column location as per survey or not these were some points about the work inspection and material inspection so these are the two main duties of the quality inspector and the third thing some documentation for the quality inspector which type of documentation we need for the quality inspector is wir mir so the quality inspectors in some companies is also responsible to submit WIR work inspection request to the consultant and material inspection request to the consultant. These are the documentation to submit it to the consultant as per the responsibilities of a quality inspector. So guys, 
these were some responsibilities of the quality inspector for fresh people now we have um, the second thing is for the site engineer as a site engineer or as a super or supervisor what will be your responsibilities the first thing you have to manage all of your site you are responsible to manage your site to make groups and divide the as a site engineer you are responsible for a site management to start any activity you have to know about your manpower that how many people you have you have to know about the material how much material you have and how much material you need for the site so for the manpower you have to know that how to arrange the people for activities and you have to know their productivity rate you have to know about how, when you have to go complete the activities so as per the duration of the activity and productivity of the people you have to arrange and make groups and make uh, team leaders and uh, give them to the different formats to execute the activity second thing about the arrangement of the material before starting the activity you have to know how much material you have at site and how much you need it more for that you have a good uh, knowledge about the quantity estimation quantity calculation and also excel in uh, world like that for that to make mr and give it to the store department or procurement department to purchase that material for you so two things site manage um, and farm management and material arrangement these were the two main responsibility of a site engineer or site supervisor the third thing you uh, will be work like as a bridge between the high management and lower management so you have to give the high management a full report of the site daily the fourth thing you have to prepare all daily progress reports equipment reports to which type of equipments are working at site and you have to you need the, these equipment for how many days and you know you have to know the cost of the equipment per day so then you can manage your site or arrange the equipments easily and if you need more manpower so how you will request that manpower so you have to do the calculation for the activities and you have to keep in mind how much cost the equipment or the manpower will uh, you have to pay for that so you have to keep this in mind and then you will request the manpower or equipments the fourth thing you have to you should be good as a technical how you have to should be good as a technical you should know about the materials technical uh, information drawings to make the good supervision of the executed work at site if you don't know the drawings and the supervisor or foreman make any mistake and you don't know about that so it will after later it will come to your uh, shoulders and it will be not good for your reputation so you should know full information how to read the drawings and how to check the drawings at site with the executed work the fourth thing you have to coordinate with the safety department and you have to keep your uh, site safe and sound you have are responsible for the safety of all your main power at site as a site engineer as compared to several inspector there uh, the there is more site work and less office work as a site engineer you have to spend your more time at site and less time at office as a civil inspector you have to spend more time at office and less time in site because it, to the site you can go for surveillance just as, uh, for some time or only for inspection and for and as a site engineer you should be there for a full time to supervise the work to check the labor and control the work at site so dear friend these were some responsibilities of a site engineer and civil inspector if you find the video informative so please like the video comment your feedback and subscribe our youtube channel for such a more videos thank you so much for watching our video